Hey guys, Ginger here, and today I'm bringing you guys a pretty exciting video, and that is the first part of my bookshelf tour. So I saw Haley and Bookland do this when she did her more recent bookshelf tour, and she made two different videos for it, and I definitely think that that is a very good idea, so I am doing it myself. And so the first part of this video is going to be just in general overview where I talk about the different sections and what's on each shelf and it's going to be fairly quick and just like I said just an overview and then the second part of this bookshelf tour will be each individual book for those of you who like to see that and that way you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to and you just want to see an overview or if you don't want to see that you can wait for the more detailed video. So Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what is on my shelves and hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, so we're starting at the top of my first shelf, which is a little three tier shelf. And up here I have some of my graphic novels. I have the eye of the world and some of my fables. And this is where I keep my TBR pile for the month. And so this is April's TBR pile and some of them I have read and some of them I'm still working on. So that is what's there. Moving on, we have my first mass market paperback slash fantasy shelf slash some Stephen King. So I have just a variety of mass markets here and they all look so nice. And so this side is more of my fantasy and they're all adult fantasy. And this side just has some Stephen King and mismatched ones. Moving down to this shelf, we have all, all arcs that I received all the way from 2016 here and going to now um, in April, the April releases. I have a few of the May releases on my TBR and then my June and August ones you will see here in a minute. And then on the bottom shelf is just kind of a miscellaneous paperback shelf. We've got a the Anonymous series, we've got some romance and some fantasy and just like I said it's just kind of all mixed matched ones that I had no idea where to put them so they are on this bottom shelf. Moving along this is the top of my tall brown shelf and these are my reference books. The first one is a dog reference and this one's an animal reference and then I have some stuffed animals up here because I don't want my dog to chew them. And then the top shelf on here is my fantasy shelf mostly YA some adult um, like Never Night as Adult, and these are all unread fantasy of mine, so except for Ruin and Rising, all of these I have not read yet, so I am very, very excited to get to all of them as soon as possible. Moving down to the next shelf, we have some read and some unread series. We have my Jenny Ahan trilogies selection and some other fantasies moving along down here. Like I said, I've read most of these ones except for this little chunk right here. I have read the first book of Mara Dyer, but not the other two. So I'm going to be working on that hopefully this year. Moving down to the shelf, this is where a lot of my favorites are. Um, this is where the Lunar Chronicles go. I just read Scarlet and I'm going to be reading Crest, so that's why they're not here. And then we have some more fantasy. And like I said, most of these are my favorites, except I have not read The Darker Shades of Magic yet. The next shelf down is all mostly thrillers. So I've read some of them and I have yet to read others. So that is what's on here. And then the bottom shelf is some more thrillers. Um, some of my favorite thrillers and my Harry Potter books. So that is my bottom shelf. Moving on, this is my second little three tier shelf. This is the top of it because I ran out of room. Um, so this is just like mix match. There's some arcs up here. There's uh, one of my sign books. There's some just ones I didn't know where to put. And then the rest of my, the arcs that come out later this year. Um, that's a pot my sister made, some more stuffed animals. This jar with a crow on it. it maybe think of six of crows but it's obviously not with them right now so it's just kind of hanging out 
And then on the first tier of this, we have more mass market paperbacks, um, more Stephen King, some Throne of Glass, or Game of Thrones, Gillian Flynn, and just a few other mixed match ones. And then the next shelf down is just all hardcovers that I didn't know where to put. Um, some more Stephen King. And just the only not hardcover on here is er, these two. But the rest of them are hardcover. And then on the bottom of this shelf is just more miscellaneous books that I had nowhere to put. Um, and these are all mostly Sarah Dustin with uh, I'll Give You the Sun. And the rest of them are all random. And and I do have some more miscellaneous books. These are all books that are like animal related because I am very into this except for His Dark Materials is down there. But these is, this is my James Harriet collection. And then over here we have some classics like Bambi and Where the Red Fern Grows as well as some um, Chicken Soup animal books and then below that we have more yet of some books and there's stuff in the way like a nail polish remover and then these are all of my books except for my warrior series which I have yet to put up and my woman's murder club series which again I have yet to put up and those are my longest biggest series that I own so other than that, this is my book collection. So, I'm glad you guys tuned in to watch. And if you are interested in seeing every individual book, stay tuned for part two of this bookshelf tour. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!